burden? Why is there pain? Why can't the burden we carry go away? And why isn't it Friday today? Oh wait, it is Friday today. That's the best news I've heard all week. And it's been a difficult week for some of you out there. How you doing HQDs? Another difficult day, unfortunately. Trying to send positive vibes here. Feel like you want to hang it up and see what tomorrow brings. But right now there's nothing left to do, but smile, smile, smile and play HQ, the live trivia game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host, Scott Rogowski, sending thoughts and prayers to our feckless politicians to do something, anything, to prevent senseless gun violence, along with all 570,000 plus of you, including Lola Bell, the dog, Ad Tellum Corporate Relations Team, Jack Bradley Hull, congrats on graduating, congratulations, Brian Perez for being an amazing boyfriend, and congrats to Jackie giving birth to to Sharif. Today, we are playing for a whopping, flopping $5,000 prize, $5,000 redos. That's enough to afford yourself brain salad surgery so you can numb your pain and all the nastiness out there. Yeah, just cut it out. Lobotomy, baby, that's the answer. I don't know. Do you have the answer? Do you have all 12 answers today? You got to answer all 12 questions to win that cash prize. Are you feeling it? Are you getting up for the weekend? You want to do it? Let's do it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty with 600,000 plus of you live in the game on this Friday afternoon, May the 18th. Let's get this show on the road at Cumero Numero Uno. What is the general term for a digital downloadable spoken word audio recording? Fraudcast, Scottcast, or podcast? Digital downloadable. If I had one of these, maybe I would call it a Scottcast, but I'm leaving these to the experts, Mark Marin, the Bodega Boys, the granddaddy of all of them, Tom Sharpling, they're holding it down with podcasts. Yeah, you gotta love them. Subscribe, leave a review on iTunes. 580,600 of you are podcast heroes. And you're getting Q2, but before I get to Q2, I wanna tell you about something very special happening this weekend. It's a big weekend over across the pond. Yeah, you heard about this royal wedding that's happening tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's gonna be your chance to turn your royal knowledge into cold hard cash. That's right, we're doing a special royal game. A royal game tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time, $25,000 prize. You can be royally rich if you win that one. And then Sunday night, if you think that's good, Sunday night, we're back 9 p.m. Eastern time with a $100,000 prize. Hunter Band, Hunter Band, Hunter Bands, $100,000 Sunday at 9 p. Eastern. So put that in your calendar. But let's get back to Q2 today. Pants with several roomy pockets on the sides are known as what? Luggage pants, cargo pants, or shipping container pants. These pants are some very, very, very fine pants, fine pants. You can lug around all sorts of cargo in these pockets, but it's mostly vape pens and rolling papers, am I right? Cargo pants is your answer there. Cargo! How cargo do you go? 562,379 are putting on their cargo pants one leg at a time, hopping on their razor scooters, and getting Q3. Which of these aquatic animals is a mammal, dolphin, tiger shark, or catfish? Tiger shark. Tiger style. Tiger style. Just like their fascinating hybrid cousins, the wolfins. Yeah, remember those wolfins? Dolphins are not fish or mollusks, or crustaceans, they're cetaceans, aquatic mammals. Dolphins is your answer. It's dolphins, we have to stop them. If I speak in low frequency voices, I 540,155, getting this right. Snorky, talk, man. Question four, which of these chemical elements is often used to fill party balloons? Holmium, hydrogen, or helium? Party. Party. You having a party this weekend? Royal wedding party? Celebrate with us. 25,000 tomorrow at 4 p.m. How are your holmium supplies holding up, huh? It's a real thing. A rare earth element. Too rare to be found in common party balloons. And even though hydrogen is super light, it's also super flammable. Super bad for parties. Helium is what you want. I'm not going to, you know, suck in the helium again like I did last time we asked about helium. 530,125 have those squeaky voices at the ready and their thumbs and fingers ready to tap for Q5. Which of these is a cruciferous vegetable? Broccoli, carrot, or rhubarb? Cruciferous. The large family of cruciferous veggies is named for the cross-shaped pattern of their leaves. An alternate classification could be foods kids hate. 
They include Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. Ain't no telling what I'm finna be on. Hey, 300, 2,945 are chopping broccoli, chopping broccoli, getting Q6. Which of these is the title of a film that stars Sinbad as a genie? Kazam, Shazam, or neither? Or neither? Or neither? <laughs> neither, neither, Shazam, Kazam. The Mandela Effect. You know the Mandela Effect? When you misremember something that you think is totally real? Well, it's in full effect here. Although your memory might want you to believe that Sinbad starred as a genie in some 90s kids movie. It's a myth. It never happened. Shaq played a genie in Kazam, but Sinbad was in neither of those film titles. Capiche? Neither. Neither is your answer. 98,333 are up on this one. Sinbad did star in First Kid, remember that one? And also Opposite Arnold in Jingle All the Way, we can't forget. But no genie movies for Sinbad. Question seven, until the 1950s, the biggest island in the world was considered a colony of what country? The UK, Canada, or Denmark? The largest island in the world? What could that be? Well, I'll tell you, in 1979, the massive Arctic island of Greenland, population 56,000, with an area of 836,000 square miles. They got a lot of room over there. They won home rule for itself, and in 2008, more than 75% of Greenlanders approved a referendum. Denmark. Denmark used to own Greenland, 26,534, you are great Danes trying to get your hands on that green. We did lose about 75,000. Ouchie, wowie. Slightly savage. Q8, the Latin phrase camera obscura literally translates to what? Dark room, hidden image, or light source? Literally. If you've played HQ before, you know. This is important, literal translation. Camera obscura, AKA a pinhole camera, is the concept that made modern day photography possible. The literal translation, if you're fluent in Latin, you'll know it. Camera is chamber or room, obscura is dark, darkened, so dark room is your answer. In the dark room where the black curtains nail the station. 8,523. It's not curtains for you yet, but we did lose 18,000 of you. You got a few more questions left to win the money today. Q9, according to Sun Tzu, what is the best way to win a battle without hope, without fighting, or without mercy? Sun Tzu. Do you mess with Sun Tzu? The Art of War? That's his book. It's been widely read from tech tycoons to hip hop stars. It's Soldier Boy's favorite book. Yeah, Soldier Boy can read and it teaches many things. But the Chinese general Sun Tzu wanted us to know that diplomacy or other means of defeating your enemy is preferred to combat without fighting is the best way to win a battle. 5,862 have a fighting chance today to win that $5,000 prize. Q10 in John Steinbeck's classic book, Travels with Charlie. Charlie is Steinbeck's what? Father, car, or pet? Charlie don't surf and we think he should. Charlie don't surf and you know that it ain't no good. It's not talking about that, Charlie. Steinbeck published this travelogue about driving across America with his standard poodle his pet Charlie by his side. Your pet, your pet is your answer. 3,221, getting this one right. The rest of you, Charlie bit your finger. Watch out for Charlie's girl at Q11. Which of these rappers has not released a song that samples the seminal reggae hit, Bomb Bomb? Drake, Kanye West, or Jay-Z? Tell me you know this one. Bomb Bomb. Sister Nancy's 1982 banger has been sampled in 91 different songs. Maybe you remember Lauryn Hill using it in Lost Ones, yeah? Ye used it in 2016's Famous. Hova copied him a year later on his track Bomb. But Drizzy, Drake has yet to indulge. You might win some, but you just lost one. 1,152 could be winning some cash. We did just lose over 2,000 of, of you there. Bam, 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 wham, bam. You're out of the quiz, but 1,152 are rocking and rolling and reggae and on to the final question. Q12, it all boils down to this for the $5,000 prize. 1,152 HQDs left standing. You might win some. 
You might win this one, Q12. Which of these highly visited attractions was once owned by a private citizen? Stonehenge, Liberty Bell, or the Eiffel Tower? Oh, oh, where the demons dwell, where the banshees live, and they live so well. This monument was once owned by the very wealthy horse owner and lawyer, Cecil Chubb, real name, who won the site in an auction in 1915 for a measly 6,600 pounds. Now, the fact that I'm using pounds should be giving it away here. He then donated the monument to the state for historic preservation, where it is visited by a million neo-pagans and Spinal Tap fans every year. I'm talking about Stonehenge. And I'm talking about 491 of you who knew it. You're our big winners today. Bye-bye. The demons may dwell in Stonehenge, but 491 of you are now dwelling in the HQ Winner's Circle. That's right, you did it. You won HQ. Go yell it from a mountaintop. Becky PD won some money. J4 Metro 4 what? Don't, what does that mean? Just make regular names. Zach Taylor, I like that name. Napple Cook, a whole lot of you splitting 5,000 bucks. That's $10.19. If you have a crazy name in your avatar, change it so I can read it. Don't you want to be shouted out? Yeah, you do, don't you? Congrats to all of you, 491 of you. Remember, come back tonight. There's another game tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And tomorrow, that big royal game for the royal wedding, 4 p.m. Eastern, manana. Get out your commemorative plates for that one. Megan and Harry could be you winning some money along with them winning a lifetime of love, 25,000 tomorrow, and a $100,000 prize Sunday night. I can't stress that one enough. 100K for your big money Sunday. Never miss a Sunday show. Until then, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off, saying I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe, hug your loved ones. It's a crazy world out there. If you get confused, just listen to the music play. Bye.